Morning guys. I'm here documenting what happened last night. We were doing wheelies. It was a fun time. And then uh, it wasn't. Apparently it twisted up the axle. Broke, broke, broke. Broke two trans bolts off in the Can-Am, which is just kind of crazy to me. I've never seen these trans bolts break before. Let me show you guys. So right there. <laughs> pretty wild not very fun right there guys probably wouldn't think that's a big deal that's a pretty big deal because it took them two hours to get that out that's what I was showing y'all earlier we got Cody the master mechanic here and gonna put some bolts in there and then we're gonna get him back on the road what's your thoughts hunter <laughs> they do break sad times man y'all did a great job of breaking this i'm proud of all of you okay guys we got cody's car fixed or cody's brother-in-law's car fixed up um boy that's wild they were willing last night so hard they broke bolts and transmission so heads up to you kdm guys we are about to go to devil's dude we're gonna have a blast. I haven't been all the way out there yet this year, so follow along. Let's go for a ride. If you've never seen St. Anthony's in our videos, you're in for a treat because these dudes are awesome. So here we go. guys we made it to choke cherry if you have not been to st anthony's before and you just started following us these are in my opinion the best dunes some may argue and say glamis is i don't agree but anyhow this is choke cherry it's basically like china wall not quite as tall but i think it's a little bit steeper and of course you're never going to get the full image on camera it never does it justice it is a steep climb I'd say it's easier for me to climb up China than it is this. China's, I don't know, probably 30, 40 feet taller, but this thing is just steep and the sand here is like, whew. This is fun though. I'm having so much fun. I hope you old school subscribers are enjoying seeing Sherb in action again. Uh, I was like, I gotta take Sherb out and she is doing good. I am surprised. Got some Blackbird 32s on it. Holy crap. Best paddles I've ever put on that car. We had STU 1300s before and now we have the blackbirds on it and boy these things grip i've been running a two-wheel drive this whole time if you guys are new dooners maybe stay in four i'm not saying i'm the best or the most experienced but experienced enough that two-wheel drive is fun and comment below do you guys that run the dunes a lot do you guys like do you like to run in two-wheel drive or do you like to run in four-wheel drive i don't know it's it's fun either way to me but if you look over there that is the way that takes you to Devil's Dune. So Devil's Dune, for the people that come here, you know what it is. It is one of the hugest bowls you will ever go to. It is absolutely insane how big it is. But the whole crew made it here. The whole Preston Idaho crew. Tig, look at Sherb. Look at you, Sherb. Looking all pretty. Look at them Blackbird 32s, courtesy of a good buddy of mine and got jen here and her sick turbo s that's never driven because it's in perfect condition got bj here got sam whitney whitney, whitney. nice to meet you again whitney i probably met you before but here we are what's oh in case you guys had a little whoops if you don't remember last night cody my friend cody cows he beat up my friend bj that was not nice little smoke yeah what did you say? Robin is racing. Yep. Robin's racing, Harry. Oh, Robin, Harry. Robin's racing. Uh, uh, 
I like his little sticker in here, guys. Can y'all see that? It says seatbelt. Stupid. So what he's saying is it's stupid to wear a seatbelt. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Looks like we got a fun co coming through, guys. This is a rails heaven. If you own a sand rail, this is your heaven. The dunes are huge. The bowls are big. That bad boy right there. Yeah. Let's get that sucker up, man. Nice. I don't know. Is he going to do it for us again? I think so. Let's see if we can get a little action from this guy. He's wheeling all over the place. Little slippity slide. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you you exit from the big dunes and you'll come right over that hill. Some people get kind of afraid because it's a steep drop if you're a new duner. You can also go around that way and come down from the bottom. Nice. Look at all these duners just coming through. There we go. There we go. Ooh, nicely done. Ooh. That thing's fast. I think that's one of the boondocker cars. All them boys from Boondocker, they all know how to drive. I'll give them that. Okay, everybody, you remember the car that we were working on earlier? Or I wasn't working on I was spectating with my shovel. They got it fixed. How do you feel? Tell the camera how you feel oh, about yeah. this. Much better. <laughs> Much better. I like that. People are afraid to be on cameras. He's a nice guy, actually. <laughs> I think that BJ uh, blew a shock. This isn't no, it's not right over. I mean, there is a lot of liquid yeah. right here. Yeah. It definitely is. Oh yeah, he definitely got a blown shock seal on it. Well, and to the rescue. What do we do? We take it to desert speed. We take it to desert speed. That's where you really should go. We do like the MTS guys as well. There goes Tig. Tig's been having fun cresting the top of Devils. Got the whole freaking squad. Look at this. Shit. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing, guys. There's literally uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, catorce, ocho. I, I, I don't know how to count the rest of Spanish. It's starting to explore. Come on. There's a lot of side by sides here. There's probably about 15 of us, I guess. But yeah, so this is Devils. If you guys are new to the channel and never watched, any of the St. Anthony's footage or see anything about St. Anthony's, this is Devils. And it's freaking huge. And it's so much fun. And you just go around and around in circles. I have a lot of fun on it. I mean, it's just like you can go as wide open as you possibly want. There goes Tig at the very top, about to crest. He's literally riding the whole ridge. So we're going to 
want to go back nice fun rip back home gonna get some lunch in our bellies and then we're gonna go back out and we're gonna do it all over again Okay guys, we have been chilling at the camp. It did rain a little bit. Shout out to Envy Blankets. These guys are awesome, man. They make the blanket that you probably saw Krista wearing all the time. This right here. We've used it so much, the logo's starting to kind of come off, but they're gonna fix that. I used it to cover the car, to cover shirts so it wouldn't get wet inside because it's waterproof. These blankets will be on our website, by the way, guys. They're great people. They're not some company from China or anything. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with China, I'm just saying. Uh, they are awesome people and they'll be at our Whiskey Throttle race nights uh, selling some blankets. So if you guys like to pick up one, I love that I bought it for Krista. Sometimes you buy stuff for your wife or whatever and they don't actually use them. Uh, she's actually used it a ton, which is awesome. Um, so I would definitely please give them guys some love. Come to our website, buy one of their blankets if you'd like to try one out. It's not really cold right now because it's summer, but they are waterproof. And the inside of Sherb is dry. Look, see? Sherb is dry. Well, oh, sand. Yeah. Multi-purpose use blankets. Anyways, Amanda got here. Tig and Amanda and I are going to go ride. Chris is just sitting there pregnant still. I'm still I'm still yeah. kid. <laughs> Believe it or not, she's still, still got a kid. I feel like she's been pregnant for like two years. It's been 84 years. But no, just, I don't feel like our that. little baby's in there just just roosting or ro what yeah roasted like yeah, a chicken yeah like a good delicious slow roasted juicy chicken yeah <laughs> <laughs> so say hi amanda hi there we go we got all the idaho homies over there the we're just gonna go rip we're gonna go rip a little bit faster this time because we kind of went a little slow for some of the newer drivers but now we're about to actually go so there's princess leia she's been hanging out all day yeah. Been snuggling with me, watching movies and stuff. Yeah. That's why I don't want to go if you want to, because I feel bad. I feel bad that you will go slow because of me, and I feel like I'm taking the fun out of it for you. So that's why I'd rather just sit here than make him go slower. <laughs> I'm going to take her on a sunset ride before no, we head I home. I want to get some pictures. I want to yeah. try to, if you can jump Sherb. No, I am not jumping Sherb. I know what you guys are wondering, like, Yes, I've been in Sherb this entire time. In case you haven't caught it in the earlier this video, the stupid transmission input selector switch is bad. Again, 200 miles after you replaced it. Super unhappy about that. Not a freaking fan. Um, Polaris, you need to do better. Like I could, yeah, I'm gonna make a whole rant about that. But Chris and I are gonna try to find somewhere to take some cool pictures tomorrow, probably when the weather's a little bit shinier. Yeah, I brought a, I brought a, I brought a little dress so we can do some fun dune maternity pictures because we haven't really done yeah. any pictures at all and i at least want like i'm a little weird about taking pictures of my belly but i want something and the dunes <laughs> yeah so we're gonna take some little pregnant pictures tomorrow and uh yeah so oh my god you guys will probably see this video and already realize it came out but my buddy just sent me the rendering for one of the brand ideas that we have on our website it may not be there tomorrow. It might be there on Sunday. You're probably seeing this video on Wednesday. 
or Sunday. I don't know. But either way, go to offroaddiaries.com, pick up some cool merch. We got a cool brand that we're dropping that's a secret we haven't even told anybody about. And it should be there by the time this video comes out. And I think it's gonna be awesome. So anyways, we're gonna go ride. Love you guys, follow along. See you, bye. We had to run from the rain. Came over to visit my buddy Cody. Apparently, you got a coffee shop? yeah. Apparently, he uh, one of his friends got into an accident. But Tig and Amanda, they're about to go ride, uh, do a little ride. I think it's still raining out there, and I don't want to ride in the rain, so I'm gonna go cook some tacos, and then we're gonna go up and watch uh, the sunset at Staircase. Guys, so came back to cook some tacos, and then what is that? There's a double rainbow. Oh my gosh. Look at, Look that. at that! It's so vivid. That's Holy sick. Cow. We like rainbows oh, around here. Just wanted to share rainbow. it with you. Not those kind of rainbows, guys. Also, I just want to give you guys a life hack. It's windy outside, <laughs> so, and it's like nasty weather for a second. So we just put the black top from the uh, the black stone. The black stone, yeah, the black stone on top of the grill or whatever this is stove stove top <laughs> yeah i can't talk right now and then bam make some burrito tacos another live hawk you can get burrito tacos completely already made from sam's sam's club yeah you just heat it up in the microwave and then you do the rest on the griddle and you have delicious burrito tacos yeah, yeah. easy peasy so i'm gonna eat some tacos with the wife leia's over there just having leia's just having a good time She's living her best life. She's living her best life. Had to put some jogging pants on. It's starting to get a little cold out here. Um, so we're gonna eat some tacos and I'm gonna shoot over, rip for a second, and we're gonna meet some buddies at the top of the staircase. And I wish I could bring Krista with me. Krista's still here, by the way. It's not just me by myself. She's just at the almost nine month period. And I just don't want nothing to happen to our little baby boy. Could you imagine just like driving through the sand and you hit a bump? And then bam, little little baby just pops out, falls onto the seat of the Can-Am. I mean, I wouldn't be upset if it happened that way, honestly. I, I feel like that would be appropriate for him to come out that way. Yeah. It doesn't sound as traumatic as going to a hospital and them forcing everything on you, so. Yeah. It would be cool though, if baby, it would be so if he just cool. popped out and was like, boop, <laughs> and fell on the floor. <laughs> oh my there god, have to use floor. one of the factory tool kits that Can-Am gives I you to catch cut him. the... I would catch him, jeez. <laughs> yeah, so, no, we're not giving birth in the Can-Am, guys. Oh, that would be cool. Hmm. Aw, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, catch you in a bit, guys. Gonna do a little solo rip up to Staircase to meet up with some buddies. Had some awesome burrito tacos. And yeah, let's go for a little quick dip. To the staircase if you've never been to st anthony's it's pretty cool it's like these stairs and they go all the way up and you can overlook all the dudes i'll show you guys just follow me real quick okay guys this is the staircase really freaking awesome i'm gonna show you guys why this is really awesome in three two one Look who we got. We got Nate. And he, oh my God. Oh. We, we got Trevor. We got Rand. We got everybody. What the heck? Is that your machine? Is your machine running? It is. No turbo problems. No overheating problems. Not right now. I was telling them that I think that your machine you is like my RS1. Shut up. Oh, That's yeah. My job. Shut, <laughs> my job. Shut up, Jonathan. Bleep that out. 